What's up guys? I went all the way from Bathhouse Row up to the Lookout Tower. Let's go explore. Poncho here. I'm at the 18th National Park Hot Springs. It was created in 1921. Let's go explore. explored the park it's time to get down to what I actually rank it and like I said in the last video I'm gonna rank these 10 things from 1 to 10 and then 1 to 25 my personal what I personally thought I got my cheat sheet here where I wrote notes and stuff first off was the location I gave that a 6 out of 10 it's not a bad location it's just in the middle of a town it's not exactly the normal national park 
scenery, I guess you could say. So that is why I gave that a 6 out of 10. On activities, there is a lot of hiking, trails you can walk. There's a lookout tower that costs a little extra. It costs $11 with your National Park Pass. So I'm not counting that in the National Park because I'm only doing the free things you can do with your National Park Pass. You can walk around Bathhouse Row. You can walk plenty of trails. You can see the hot springs. You can look through the museum. I, it was currently closed when I got here, but I'm not going to count that against it. So with all that being said, I'm going to rank it a 6 out of 10. So it's above average, but not quite the best. Wildlife. I really didn't see anything but maybe a couple squirrels. I know there's probably wildlife out here, but I'm going to go by what I've seen. So that's going to be a 3 out of 10. Cleanliness. Cleanliness. It was a very clean park altogether. Wasn't a lot of dirt, trash through everywhere. And this was evening time. So I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. It was a good job by whoever runs this place, the National Park Service and all that. Then the people, I'm going to rank the people a 9 out of 10. They was all very nice, everybody we met. Everything that I've done, it was all really nice. People was friendly, gave suggestions, everything. So, 9 out of 10. Major landmarks. The major landmark of this park is the Hot Springs. And I think that is a nice major landmark and a nice attraction. But I still think there could be a step above. So, I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Size of the park. The park is not a huge park and it's not a small park either. It's kind of somewhere in between. It's more of a city park than anything. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10 on the fill and the size of the park. Bathrooms and restrooms. There's quite a few bathrooms and restrooms throughout the park. I did not go in any of them. I did not have to use the restroom while I was here. So I can't really do a ranking like that. But as of location of bathrooms, it is in a city. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Lodging. There's plenty of lodging options around and inside the park. I did not stay at any of them or really anything close so I can't rank by how well they are but by the amount I'm gonna go ahead and give that a 7 out of 10. Scenery. It's overall a very beautiful park. You've seen everything as I went by. A lot of stuff to look at. A lot of trees, the hot springs, the trails. So that's a solid 8 out of 10. That gives me a base score of 66 out of 100. So not the best, not the worst. My personal enjoyment I spent a nice evening here, and I feel like you could almost get by with it if you get here before the, the museum and stuff closes. So if you get here a half a day to a full day, it's all I think you really need in this park. So I, I'm going to put my personal enjoyment to an 18 out of 25, putting this park at 84 out of 125. This is the first park I've ranked in this series, so it's going to be right at the top of the list. You're going to see a list of all the parks that I've ranked in the future right after this screen. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Like always, I'll see you on the sunny side.